Kata, which means hello um, from Greece, Greek, Greek. Um, we are have our last stop today. We are going to Greece, which is a very beautiful old um, country in Europe. <clears throat> so we're gonna have one last time, one more passport in our um, passport stamp in our passport. So you're gonna need that one more time. We're gonna open it up to the last and final stop of our trip. I'm gonna put on my glue and I'm gonna put on my last stamp that says Greece on it. Okay. I'm gonna write my one thing I found, which is karate, you know that, that means hello um, in Greek. Um, we have our last ticket. Um, and that is <clears throat> from Germany to Greece. That's our last one. I guess I never gave you a ticket to come home, so you might be stuck in, in Europe, so have fun. So that's our last ticket. Um, we're gonna put that in there. Um, this is also a fun little, you know, with all your activities that you've made, like here's my, you know, my head on, I could put that in there. You know, you could put all your little souvenirs that you've made right inside of your suitcase. So you have it all ready to go. Um, but yeah, so that's your suitcase. It's packed. We're ready to go. It should be full of all your exciting stuff. And let's get going. So here is Greece. All right, we're gonna do a little bit here. Um, this is a beautiful, this is Santorini. This is um, all on the water, which is so beautiful. I would love to go here someday. Um, so Greece is just like down <clears throat> at the bottom part, kind of by Italy area. Okay. Albania, um, Turkey, it's by Turkey. So here's some facts about it. They use, there's 12 million people in Greece. It's not huge, but still pretty big. Um, they use the Euro, just like Italy and Germany. Um, the highest mountain in Greece is Mount Olympus. It has over 50 peaks from the highest reaching 200 or 9,570 9, feet and 80% is made up of mountains. The capital city is Athens. Almost half of the people in Greece live in Athens. It's a pretty big city. Um, it is one of the oldest cities in Europe. Um, it's home of the actual, of the Olympics, you know, all the Olympics that we were supposed to be this summer, but they cancel or postpone them. Um, and the Parathean, which is a former temple um, dedicated to the goddess um, Athena, whom the people of Athens considered their people. Okay, my video cut out, so I'm going to try this again. Um, yeah, it was uh, finished in 438 BC, so it took um, quite a while to build that thing. Um, although not as common as Greek tourists believe, there is a Greek tradition of throwing plates on the floor well, it's music is playing during special meals. So if you've ever seen any videos about Greece, they do that. It's kind of funny. Um, here's the Santorina, Santorini. Um, like I said, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Have you ever seen Mamma Mia? They're, um, that's what it looks like. Or Sister to the Traveling Pants. They're filmed there. Um, not typical, typical kid. This is what their houses might look like. Their schools. Um, and ancient Greece. So we talked a little bit about this with the stars um, when we were learning about constellations, but ancient Greece was a civilization that dominated much of the Mediterranean thousands of years ago. Then at its peak under Alexander the Great, ancient Greece ruled much of Europe and Western Asia. The Greeks came before the Romans. So remember we talked about that um, in Rome, in Italy, um, and much of the Roman culture was influenced by the Greeks. So a lot of those buildings might look pretty similar. Um, ancient Greece formed the foundation of much of Western culture today. Everything from government, philosophy, science, mathematics, art, literature, and even sports was impacted by the ancient Greeces. Greece. Because we talked about, you know, um, you know, the stars and the constellations and science and, um, you know, those philosophers that had all these great ideas. Um, and then the Olympics. So the sports were all there too. Fun facts, they eat, they ate dinner lying on their sides and they invented the yo-yo. 
ancient Greece did that. So the Olympics, the first Olympic Games um, are held in Olympia. We talked about Olympia. The winning athletes received an olive branch crown, um, a symbol of honor, so a real one. The Games began as part of a religious festival dedicated to Zeus, king of the gods. So if you have ever seen Hercules, Zeus is his dad. Um, they continued from nearly 12 centuries until Emperor Theodo Theodosia de decreed in 393 AD that all such pagan cults are banned. So the first modern Olympic Games were held in Athens to build friendship among different countries. Many of its games include wrestling and disc throwing, discus throwing um, that all started. So like if you can see, you know, the original Olympic game, but that was started in 1896. That's when the first Olympics started. Um, so there's lots of different things. I'm not going to get into it. Greek mythology. So I'm sure if you've seen, um, you know, Hercules, you know a little bit about that. And the Trojan horse. There's so many cool things that came from Greece. But we don't have time for it, so we're just going to do a quick little activity with, with the Olympics. This is their typical food, ch kebabs, baklava, gyros, all that kind of stuff. Delicious, yummy foods. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit about Greece. We are going to make um, some actually olive branch crown today. Um, I'm gonna. This is what they're originally going to look like, so I'm going to just kind of show you a little bit how to do it, um, and then you're just gonna be on your own because I think you can do this one just fine. So you have um, an envelope, and it looks like um, you have a plate, and then you have a bunch of different leaves, so yours look a little bit different than mine. You guys know you're going to, uh, I lost my scissors. Um, let me just find them really quick. Oh, they're right behind me. Um, I have so much stuff. So we're gonna just cut that out. And you're just gonna cut out that middle like this so that it can make this kind of um, crown. I'm gonna just cut off a little bit, not a lot, um, so that it'll fit on like a crown on your head, okay? And then you're just gonna cut out your little leaves here and you're gonna cut them out and they're just gonna layer. You're gonna do, you know, one, two, three, four, just kind of keep layering it on top. And this is eventually what's gonna look like. You're gonna wanna uh, mix your colors a little bit. So this is it. That is all it is. It's super easy and super fun. So we will, that's it. We will talk to you later. Bye. Send us your pictures. I forgot to make.